Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge ähm, Mass Effect Legendary Edition äh, Mass Effect 1 Episode 4 oder so. Wir sind gerade auf der Zitadelle angekommen und hatten gerade, äh, ich glaube, ein Gespräch mit äh, dem Botschafter, der irgendwie ein Arschloch ist. Und jetzt sollen wir etwas machen. Warten wir mal. Ah, schon wieder, also das... Gut, gucken wir mal. Ähm ne, das ist... Journal brauchen wir. Wir müssen Saren exposen. Indem wir zum Tower gehen. Und ein System im Argus Rohcluster erforschen, aber das können wir erst, wenn wir ein Schiff haben und so. Also gehen wir erstmal zu dem Tower. Irgendwie, da ist doch eine Brücke, können wir da nicht rüber. Dann müssen wir die nächste Brücke nehmen, die hier. Das ist schicke Statue da. just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention the So, das geht wohin? So, uh, Da gehen wir später hin. Dann muss der Turm muss hier weiter weiter auf der anderen Seite sein hier. auch einer. Ich muss mal eben auf die Karte gucken hier. Achso, Bank, Emporium, Citadel Tower. Also äh, hätten wir einfach nur hier rum müssen, aber jetzt sind wir hier rüber gegangen. Jetzt müssen wir einmal hier ganz durch. Na gut. Also ist das schon die richtige Richtung hier. Das ist auch eine Installation. Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. 
To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the Tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Oh, da gibt's XP für, wenn ich mich mit Leuten unterhalte. Interessant. Okay. Ich persönlich finde das ja vielleicht ein bisschen unklug, äh, wo einzuziehen, wo man noch nicht mal weiß, wie irgendwas funktioniert. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a Spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. 
An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. 
I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission. Noticed a sudden mission. Saren okay. eliminated him, but I saw how he operates. No conscience. No so. hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end Tell the Tell me war. more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked 
bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Uh, here, links. Up to some what? Oh no, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Ah, sure you go. Uh, ma, ma, ma. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay, dann scannen wir die mal alle ein, dann kriegen wir Geld. Mal gucken, ob dass wir hier niemanden vergessen. Hier ist keiner. Nein. Ah, okay. Da ist einer. Siehst du, wusste ich doch. Hübsch hier mit den Kirschbäumen. Wer ist denn Kirschbäume sind? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. Waren das alle Keeper hier? Gucken wir nochmal auf diese Seite, um auf Nummer sicher zu gehen. <lacht> ne, hier ist keiner. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the Council knowing? Maybe the Council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. Hm. That's dangerous talk. I'd be oh, that's I know. Den habe ich noch nicht, oder? Don't 
Das sind hoffentlich alle, weil jetzt gehen wir... Jetzt gehen wir wieder runter hier. Wie gesagt, äh, es scheint mir gefährlich zu sein, äh, einfach so eine Riesenstruktur im Weltraum äh, von allen Dingen auch noch äh, zu bewohnen, wo, wenn man nicht richtig weiß, wie sie funktioniert und wie diese Wesen, die hier rumlaufen, was sie überhaupt machen und so. Yes, Level! So, dann schauen wir mal, hier unten geht's zu den Wards, ja, da müssen wir hin. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case, Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. So. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar. This is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about this that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches.
That's her. Oh, warum habe ich eine Schrotflinte ausgerüstet? Was soll der Scheiß denn? Ist ja irgendwas zum Einsammeln, gucken wir noch mal, weil ist ja ein Rollenspiel. Ähm, sieht nicht so aus, okay. Dass die Gegner auch nichts droppen, ist irgendwie ein bisschen. Aber naja, das äh, hemmt den Spielfluss, ich sehe es hier ein. Aber dann sind wir jetzt hier auch bei Kuros denn und dann würde ich sagen, machen wir Schluss für heute und dann geht es beim nächsten Mal weiter, wenn wir die Bar betreten. Äh, like das Video, bla, bla, di, bla und bla, di, bla, di, bla, di, bla. Und bis dann. <lacht> Tschüss.